Michelle from the South Australian Footballer Magazine. Today I'm here with Rob Cools, the president of Scotch Old Collegians Football Club, and we're doing the weekly roundup. So for the scores this week, we had North Haven 12-6-78 defeated Plimpton 9-17-71. Portland 11-14-80 defeated Pembroke Old Scholars 7-12-54. Seton Ramblers 1911-125 had a big win over Walkerville with 9-8-62. Walkerville Park 14-7-91 defeated Westminster Old Scholars with 11-10-76. And Flinders Park 7-15-57 defeated Scotch Old Collegians with 7-12-54. So, um, quite a close game yesterday. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, it was a very close game. Like all day, neither side really got on, on the top. And uh, the scores changed. Uh, the lead changed hands several times in the last quarter. And we were just on the wrong end of it uh, at the, in the end. Yeah. Um, no doubt uh, disappointing for the boys and yourself. But can you tell me who did stand out? Yeah, Harry Jolly uh, on ball was, was exceptional, and uh, Jai Farrell on, on the wing, Lockie Giles at centre half back, he, he played a brilliant game and stopped uh, the Flinders Park on you know, numerous occasions. Yeah, um, no doubt it's been a bit of uh, shocking weather this weekend. How did that go in your game? Oh, Flinders Park, we played down in Flinders Park, and the oval was absolutely in magnificent condition. You know, you look at the scores. 7.15, 7.12, you think that it was wet and muddy, but it was, it was a wonderful condition, so I don't think they had much rain there on Friday night at all. Lucky for them. Yeah, exactly. um, and looking at the scores from the weekend, were there any um, surprises, things you weren't expecting? Um, yes, Morfordville Park beating Westminster, that's uh, Westminster's first loss, and they were playing at Westminster's home ground, so that's a great, great, great win for Morfordville Park. Um, so, you know, the other, other games. Um, Limpton, that was a close game. You know, there, there are seven or eight sides in the competition that are very evenly matched. Um, so uh, it's going to be very interesting come finals time who actually makes it because serves uh, seven or eight sides could make a final five. And um, getting ready and shaping up for next week, what are you expecting? Oh, we've got our past players going. You know, we're playing against Pembroke, which are, are rivals, and we're all so having our first Indigenous round. Uh, because we've got uh, six or seven boys uh, that are indigenous playing with us uh, and they're, they're great fun, great footballers. Eddie Betts came out yesterday just to have a bit of a look uh, because he knows some, uh, some of them quite well. And Shane Radbone, who's uh, on the committee, uh, he helps Eddie Betts out with the Eddie Betts Foundation. So it's great to have them around. And, uh, and Rory Laird, who's uh, passed, uh, well, he's an old scholar of the school, he's our number one ticket holder. He gets out there quite a bit too. So we're looking for a big game next week against Pembroke and get back on the wins list too. Very nice. Um, thank you for that, Rob. And this is Steph Carnell from South Australian Footballer Magazine, and I'll see you next week.